Oh, hello. This is Tak Chong from Walk with Tak. And welcome to my YouTube channel. And if you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and share. The primary goal of my YouTube channel is to help you to achieve wellness through home cooking. Home cooking that is practical, efficient, and sustainable. And this is to achieve through my fast cooking system, which is flavor chasing, advanced prepping, stir frying, and template based cooking. And in order to achieve practicality as well as efficiency in home cooking, uh, advanced prepping is absolutely necessary. Uh, through advanced prepping, it is possible uh, to cook every single day. And this will create sustainability for home cooking. A chicken is probably the most available and cost effective meat in the American supermarket. A majority of Americans consider chicken to be their favorite meat protein. And most people find cooking chicken at home is not as easy. And because they find that the chicken they purchase from the supermarket, if they freeze it, it is difficult for them to thaw it out as they desired. And in a previous video, I demonstrate how to cook chicken tender in the wok. And through advanced prepping, I am able to get the chicken from the freezer to the wok in under 10 minutes. And this method provides practicality as well as efficiency that is required for sustainable home cooking. A chicken is highly cost effective when you purchase them in bulk. Here for 5 pounds of chicken, the cost is only about $2 a pound. And this is probably the most economical way uh, to have meat. And if you're willing to spend a little bit more money, then you can buy organic chickens or chicken that have not received any antibiotics. Again, this is the benefit of home cooking because it gives you the choice. And the problem is that when you freeze the chicken as it comes, it will take you a long time to thaw them out. And therefore, any time when you want to have chicken for dinner, you have to plan ahead. And using my prepping system, you can have chicken any meal that you feel like it. And because you can grab the chicken from the freezer and thaw it out in 10 minutes. And furthermore, the chicken is already cut to the right size for you to cook. It is the ability for you to cook anything you want with spontaneity, and this is what makes home cooking sustainable. So okay, let's get into the kitchen, and I will show you how to prep this chicken. Every time when I brought chicken back from the supermarket, I never freeze them as the way they are. I cut them up into the sizes that are suitable for the type of cooking that I plan to do with them. And when it comes to stir fry, I cut them into about bite size. You can take a look at this video to learn more about how to prep chicken for stir frying. I always use my ceramic knife to prep chicken. If you want to learn more about ceramic knife, uh, you can take a look at this video. A ceramic knife is great for cutting soft food ingredients, uh, such as uh, meat and tomatoes. Uh, they stay sharp much longer than steel knives. I have used these ceramic knives for over 3 years, and I never have the need to sharpen it. Uh, however, for food ingredients that are hard, then you probably better off with a steel knife. And for the chicken tender, I slice the pieces larger, but I keep them very thin. It is the thickness of the slices that determine how long it would take to cook them, not the size. Another advantage of keeping the slices thin is that when you thaw them out, they thaw them much quicker. Uh, the goal of this prepping method is that allow you to thaw out the amount of chicken that you need each time when you cook. Uh, in this case, I store them in Ziploc sandwich bags. A Ziploc sandwich bags has various types of thickness. Some is a little bit thicker than the others. You want to choose the thickest kind that you could find. I use a Ziploc sandwich bag with the brand Boulder, which I got them from the Audi. Uh, this Ziploc sandwich bag is just the right thickness as well as the right size. I generally store about uh, 8 ounces of chicken in each of the bag. Uh, this is about one third the capacity of the bag. Uh, before I seal the bag, uh, I fold the 
back in such a way so that I can press out as much air as possible. And then I spread the chicken throughout the bag. I want to keep the bag as thin as possible. Uh, ideally, is that the chicken are spread out in a single layer. Uh, this will achieve maximum surface area and it will allow the fastest thawing time. Uh, when I freeze the chicken in such a manner, uh, I usually can thaw them out in a bowl of warm water in 10 minutes or less. Uh, during the distribution process, I discovered that it is important to keep the outside of the bag as dry as possible. Uh, for labeling back the bag, I find that the best place to uh, write a label on is actually at the flap of the bag. As long as you keep that part of the bag dry, you have no problem to label it with a permanent marker such as a Sharpie. I usually put down the date, and in this case, I also write the letter L. Uh, this will help me to identify that these chicken pieces are large. I freeze the bag in a flat configuration when I put them into the freezer. And so after it has been frozen, the content is as flat as possible. After keeping them in the freezer for about 12 hours, they are frozen in this flat configuration. I can then store them vertically uh, in the freezer. In my case, my freezer has shelves, which is perfect for storing these bags. Uh, with the labeling on the top flap of the bag, I can identify them readily. Uh, so for this quantity of chicken, uh, I was able to create eight servings. Uh, this eight ounce serving just about right for each one of my meal. I eat chicken usually about twice a week. And so each time when I prep five pounds of chicken, it will be enough for me for about four weeks. And when I prep chicken like this, I can have chicken on demand anytime. And thank you for watching. If you find this video informative, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I post a new video each day to help people to understand as well as to adopt my fast cooking system. And thank you for watching. I will see you next time.